Good evening guys and welcome to the Hi, oh no. <laughs> early evening time and just leaving Southampton now. Uh, wonderful it's cold, view of it's a, cold. It's not cold. <laughs> Possibly balmy at No, the it moment. isn't balmy. You're balmy. <laughs> <laughs> so we left a bit late. Late, late. Oh, uh, oh, one and a half hours one late. And, uh, one and a half. What's one and a half hours? You won't get that on MSC. You, no, eh? you won't get that on MSC, I'm oh. just saying. Well, they're Italian, so what do you expect? <laughs> Always These on are time. Brits. Brits are a bit more chilled, a <laughs> bit chilled. more laid back about chilled. things. <laughs> so we left a bit late. Um, <laughs> anyway, on our way to Stavanger, sea day tomorrow, and hopefully we'll get some shots around the boat and show you the boat. <laughs> the ship, I oh, know, I just call it a boat because it takes the piss. Okay, night for now. Good Ta -ta. night. Bye.
Greetings guys and welcome to Norway and more precisely I am at the base station for Prekestolen which is the Norwegian name for Pulpit Rock. Um, some of the more astute of you may have noticed there is no Donna today that's because she's been a bit lazy and taken the boat along the fjord so she's going to see Pulpit Rock from the base of it looking up from the fjord. Uh, on the other hand I've got a nice little hike up to 604 meters and about 4k just over 4k so not too arduous uh, I'll take some video on the way up so you can see what it's like and I'll take some pictures and video at the top anyway enjoy
Greetings guys and welcome to Brixdal Glacier and guess what? Today we have Donna. Me. She decided she's gonna brave the walk up there of all one and a half miles of it to go and have a look at the glacier. So the ship docked early hours this morning at the top of which fjord? Oh, you don't know do you? Alden. Yeah, in Alden anyway. Um, video footage of that later. Nord fjord, isn't it? No idea. We'll see. Find out when we get back. But we'll have a look at the glacier when we get up there. Just a short walk up this path see, see to get there. there. beside her mother that was run over by a car so she was dead um, and uh, she would probably not have survived if the family didn't got her in um, she was just a few weeks old at the time so that is uh, like the ethical question of animals and so on you want this one with that? this is like I just have one small bite left so I don't know who's going to get that one but now look at Mifu when he is swimming because they have the fur, and I, I want to talk a little bit about that one because that is maybe like one of their most important tools uh, to survive out in nature in general. Uh, first of all, up here in Norway, they live, the European otters live um, all the way out down our coast, uh, but also inside of the country where you can find fresh water. Um, so they need to have like really warm fur. Um, they have somewhere between 70,000 and 100,000 hair straws in one square centimeter, so a lot of hair. Um, and especially now, hopefully, one of the maybe loose is finished soon, so I will throw in so you guys can see. Do you want to come here set? Perfect. Almost as ordered. You want this one? Okay, there you go. So, when they jump in the water, some of you can probably see that it comes like air bubbles out from the fur. And the thing is that when they now come up from the water, they normally tend to shake their body a little bit. So all the hair straws is moving upwards. You can see on this there that all the hair straws is like moving up. You can see on this that almost like a table. <laughs> 